thank you for Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I am just going to be playing around with some drugstore products. Recently on my Instagram stories, I asked you guys what you love, what you swear by at the drugstore. So I bought some products that you recommended and I'm here to just play around with them. So before we get into this video, make sure you are subscribed and yeah, let's get started. So I pretty much have everything for a full face. I don't have a primer that was recommended, so I am going to use what I have. So I'm going to use the Master Prime by Maybelline. This is in 100, the Blur and Smooth. Looks like this. And, oh, hello. So the foundation that was recommended from the drugstore is the CoverGirl by List Healthy Elixir. And this is already a product that I use. I really like this. I think the coverage is really nice. The finish is really beautiful. And it retails for about $9.99 on average. The shade range is not that great. For concealer, what was recommended was the Fit Me Concealer by Maybelline. And I believe this was $4.99. I have not ever used this before, but I've heard many good things about it. And this is in the shade Light, but I don't think this is actually light enough. So looking at it up close, it's definitely a lighter coverage concealer. Oh, I definitely like a more fuller coverage concealer because I can kind of see like a blue hue where my under, my eye bags, I guess, would be. But it is a very natural looking concealer. So to go with the concealer, I also have the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder. This has been recommended to me countless times. Um, I've tried it out a couple of times and it seemed to do pretty well. So this is what I'm going to use to set this concealer. I purchased the shade Fair Light, which hopefully will kind of lighten the concealer a little bit. This retails, I believe, for about $7.99. Um, it's kind of all over the place. I'm seeing $5.99 to $7.99, so that's about the range. For brows, I have two products. They're both by NYX. Micro Brow Pencil here. Like that, so it's got the spoolie on one end and the pencil on the other side. It's the like mechanical pencil here. It's a very, very thin, if you can see that. Um, this retailed for about $9.99. And the next brow product that I got was by NYX. And this was the Built em Up Brow Powder. And this is really cool because it has a fine tip applicator. It's literally a powder. Um, and you apply it with this, this thin applicator here. So I'm going to go ahead and start off with a pencil. I'm just going to brush my hair upwards. I have to say, I do love brow pencils that have the spoolie on one end. Just makes it easier. Let's flip it over. This is also in the shade Espresso. So when I was purchasing some of these products, so I got these two brow products and there was another one that I got by Maybelline, I forget what it's called, and I used it. And it was really cool. It had like the three prong brush applicator applicator, um, kind of like a marker, and the shade was perfect when I applied it to my brow, and then after it oxidized for a little while, it actually turned my brows green. I have to say, it was the worst thing I ever put on my face. So I am really liking this brow pencil. Very easy to apply. I really like how the pencil is really thin, so you can get it to look really natural, fill it in. And I'm going to go ahead and use the powder now. The only thing I have to say, though, I've used this powder before. Um, I recently went on vacation. I took it with me and used it pretty much every single day. The only thing I don't like is it does have a lot of fallout. So when you're applying it, you have to be super careful or apply it before your foundation and all that. But I'm just going to take a chance here. So like I said, I used this every single day when I was on vacation, and it was very hot, it's very sweaty. Ooh, what the hell did I just do? See what I mean here? You can see that. So I use this every single day 
on vacation. We went down to Tennessee and it was very hot, very humid. And I have to say this really held on. It stayed in place throughout the entire day. So I'm really liking that product. I just don't like the fallout, but you know. And the powder is light enough so you can build up the color. To prime my eyes before eyeshadow, I'm gonna go back in with the Fit Me Concealer and just use that as a base for my eyeshadow. There was not a eyeshadow product that was recommended, but I did come across the Maybelline Lemonade Craze eyeshadow palettes. I've heard mixed reviews about this, so I wanted to give it a shot on my own and see how I liked it. Um, the color story looks pretty nice. It looks nice for summer. It has a yellow, a couple of pink shades, a lot of shimmers. Well, it's got like four shimmers and like a satiny shade here. Um, I think we can get away with um, doing a look today with this palette. So I'm going to come up with a look with this. This retails for about $10.99 and I think that's pretty decent for a drugstore palette. You get 12 different shades in here. Not sure how many of the shades I will be able to fit in this look, but I will try to get in as much as possible. I'm actually gonna go in with the shade Sherbert, this one here. Kind of powdery, which is okay, as long as it's got some pigment. It's a neutral shade. I'm just putting that on the top portion of my head. And on my skin tone, it doesn't really look like anything. I'm going to go in with Berry Ice, which is this really light pinky shade here. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply this to my crease as a transitional shade. Oral Punch, which is this one right there. So I am going to apply this right to my crease. And yeah, I am using the same brush so far. So that is what it looks like so far with those three shades. So I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna switch up brushes. So I'm gonna go in with this little crease brush here. And this brush is from Makeup Academy, CVS's brand, I, I gather. So I'm going to go into Ice Pop, which is this bright pink shade here. Pack this on the outer portion of my eye, and that has some pigment, so I'm pretty happy about that. I'm just going to pat it in. I think that looks pretty good. Um, the one I am most curious for, though, is Lemonade Craze, which is the yellow shade. So I am going to be taking a full out shadow brush and I'm going to be dipping in there. Okay. I'm gonna go a different route. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut my crease and I'm gonna be using the shape tape for that. And I'm hoping that this will bring out some of the pigment in the yellow. I'm gonna go back in with the yellow lemonade crease shade and I'm gonna pack this over top of the concealer. All right, so that looks a little bit better. Although I really have to get my brush in there to pick up the shadow to get it to be as pigmented as it is. So there's quite a bit of fallout here. I kind of want to utilize some of these shimmers in here. So, oh, that is super pretty. Okay, this is this one here, which is Strawberry Lemonade. Ooh, that's super pretty. Clean squeeze. This one is Sugar Coated. So those are the four shimmers. I think I'm going to go with Strawberry Lemonade for this look here. I'm going to go in like that, just my finger, right where those two shadows meet. It is a little flaky. 
not as wowing. Go ahead and let it brush. Okay, that is better. For the lower lash line, I'm gonna go back into Ice Pop, which is the hot pink. I think I'm gonna use one of these shades for my brow bone. Let's try Main Squeeze, which is this one here. It's definitely like a flaky, chunky type. Yeah. It's really not that impressive. I'm gonna go for it. I cannot say that I like those metallic shades. Yeah, I mean, they're pretty, but they're kind of chunky. Not really my favorite. So I think I will put this palette aside and move on to something else. Um, I don't have a bronzer or a blush that was recommended to me, but I do, I do have some drugstore ones. I have the Wet n Wild Color Icon Ombre Blush. I have a couple of them. I have this like purpley pink shade I have not used yet, and this one I have used. This is the shade Princess Daiquiri's. This one is in Purple Haze, but since this is more pinky peach, I'm gonna go with this one because I believe this one looks a little bit more like it would go with this look. I believe this blush was $4.99. It's pretty subtle, but you can build it up, which I prefer. I don't like a heavy blush. I have the Butter Bronzer by Physicians Formula. This, I believe, was $13.99 at the drugstore. $13 or $14.99. And this is the Sun Kissed Bronzer. It smells so, so good. This one is a little bit more orangey for my complexion, but um, I'm gonna go ahead and use it anyway. Moving on to highlighter. I have the Master Chrome by Maybelline, and this is in the shade Molten Rose Gold. Right up my alley, I love rose gold. So this is retailing for about $7.99. That is a pretty highlighter. I'm gonna go ahead and dip into this highlight. So for my waterline, I have the Scandal Eyes 24 Hour Wear Waterproof Coal Pencil. This is in 005 Nude. For mascara, I have the Wet n Wild Lash Renegade Mascara. This was about $5.99 at the drugstore. So this looks like it has the mascara wand and then like a little smaller bulby brush for like the inner corner, you know, where the hair is like harder to get to. Um, so it says there's fiber in here. It boosts volume and length. And we're gonna see. Here is the mascara. It's got a multi-dimensional packaging here. Not a pretty decent mascara, I think. So I have one last thing left to try, and this is the Mega Last Liquid Catsuit by Wet n Wild. This, I believe, was around $3.99 at the drugstore, so I just have to open it up. I did want to try this for a while now. It was a product that was recommended, and I got a color that I thought would kind of go with the Lemonade palettes, but we're gonna see if I could ever get this open. This is the shade Coral Corruption. What it looks like after one coat, the color is really pretty, although it is not super full coverage, so I'm gonna go ahead and apply a second coat. So the color is very pretty. Definitely better with second coat. So that is all of the products that were recommended. So my final thoughts. So obviously the CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Elixir is a foundation that I use quite often. It is one of my favorites. The shade range is kind of poop, but um, the 
formula is really nice. The finish is really, really nice. It's, as far as the concealer, it's more of a natural coverage. I like the full coverage concealer because I just like to block out all of that color that's underneath my eye. The Lemonade palette was kind of so-so for me. The shimmers are definitely chunky, not really what I'm into. Um, the shades are very pretty. You do kind of have to work a little bit to get some pigment. Um, as far as the pink goes, you definitely have to pack it on. The yellow looks a little bit better after I put it on top of some concealer. So that did help, but I do think that it's a pretty decent palette. Um, for a drugstore palette, the shades are really pretty. The color story is really nice. So I'm actually excited to come up with some other looks with this palette. The Fit Me Powder, I do like this. I think it's really nice for a finishing powder. It doesn't cake up my face and overall the finish is pretty nice. Mascara I think is really nice. I'm gonna have to work out a little bit, make sure I don't get it all clumpy. I don't know if that was just me or not. This eye is definitely clumpier. I, I don't know. This one looks okay. That one's clumpy. So it's probably just the way I applied it. I'll blame myself for that. The liquid cat suits, I like the shade. The formula, I don't know. I don't know if I like the formula. Um, it's still sticky on my lips, even though it's been sitting there for quite some time now. It's very drying. My lips look very dry and cracked and wrinkly, and I don't like that, but it is a pretty shade. I like the Master Chrome Highlighter. This is super, super pretty. It's just the kind of highlight that I like in the color that I like. So I do like this. And I have used that prior to this video. And yep, yeah, I'm liking it. What else? Really am into this micro brow pencil. I like how the pencil is really, really thin. And it's kind of a light wash so you can kind of build it up a little bit if that makes sense. Obviously it has a spoolie on the other end, also a bonus. I do like the build em up powder because you can start off light and build it up but I do not like the fallout so that is the downside with that. Alright guys, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for recommending some of your favorite drugstore products. I had a lot of fun playing with some new stuff. I will see you all in the next video. Bye!